Today, we're comparing three different NVIDIA drivers in Grand Theft Auto V to see how much impact a simple driver change can really have on performance. The drivers tested in this video are 591.44, 566.36, and the older but very popular 531.79. All tests were recorded using CapFrameX with the same system, same settings, and the same test run, so the only thing changing here is the driver itself. For this comparison, Grand Theft Auto V was tested using very high graphic settings. I didn't lower settings to boost FPS because I wanted to see how each NVIDIA driver behaves under heavier GPU load and real-world conditions. This makes the results more realistic, especially for players who actually play GTA V on higher visuals rather than competitive low settings. Also, just to be completely clear, the PC specifications remained exactly the same for every single run. Same CPU, same GPU, same RAM, same background processes, and the same test path. The only thing that changed between these benchmarks is the NVIDIA driver version, so any difference you see in performance, stuttering, or smoothness is coming purely from the driver itself. Before going into the results, it's important to mention that GTA V is very sensitive to frame pacing and driver stability. Even small frame time spikes can cause noticeable stutters, so average FPS alone doesn't tell the full story. That's why we're looking closely at averages, 1% lows, 0.1% lows, and stuttering behavior. Starting with NVIDIA driver 591.44, this driver delivers an average FPS of around 63.7 FPS. The 1% low sits at roughly 17.9 FPS, and the 0.1% low drops even further to about 5.9 FPS, which is extremely low. CapFrameX shows noticeable frame time spikes early in the run, and the stuttering analysis reports around 2.4% stuttering, with only about 87.6% smooth frame time. In actual gameplay, this translates to frequent hitching and inconsistent smoothness, especially during camera movement or driving fast through the city. Even though the game is playable, it clearly doesn't feel smooth or stable on this driver. Next up is NVIDIA driver 566.36, which performs noticeably better than 591.44. Here, the average FPS increases to about 70.2 FPS, with the 1% low around 6.4 FPS and the 0.1% low close to 5.3 FPS. While the average FPS improvement is clear, the frame time graph still shows heavy spikes, especially at the start of the run. Stuttering increases to around 12.6%, and smooth frame time drops to roughly 87.4%. In real gameplay, this driver feels faster than 591.44, but it still suffers from visible stutters and inconsistent frame delivery, making the experience feel unstable at times. Now let's look at NVIDIA driver 531.79, and this is where things get interesting. This older driver delivers the highest performance in this comparison, with an average FPS of around 86.6 FPS. The 1% low improves significantly to about 29.5 frames per second, and the 0.1% low rises to roughly 23.3 frames per second, which is a massive improvement over the newer drivers. While the frame time graph still shows spikes, they are more evenly distributed, and the game feels far more consistent overall. Stuttering is reported at around 16%, but despite that number, gameplay feels smoother due to much stronger lows and higher sustained FPS. When comparing all three drivers side by side, the pattern is very clear. 591.44 performs the worst, with low averages, very poor lows, and noticeable stutter. 566.36 improves average FPS, but still struggles with stability and frame time consistency. 531.79, despite being the oldest driver here, delivers the best overall performance in GTA V, with the highest FPS, much stronger lows, and a noticeably smoother gameplay experience. So the final conclusion is simple. If you're playing GTA V and want the smoothest experience possible, NVIDIA Driver 531.79 is clearly the best choice out of these three. The newer drivers may be optimized for modern titles, but for GTA V specifically, they introduce more instability and lower lows that hurt gameplay. Sometimes newer isn't better, and this comparison is a perfect example of that. If you want me to test more NVIDIA drivers, different games, or specific settings, let me know in the comments. A simple driver change can make a huge difference, and testing is the only way to know what actually works best.